Recreating an XFS file system with type equals 1. I have a CentOS 7 system where the root file system is XFS, created with type equals 0, the default CentOS setting at the time the system was installed. Unfortunately, the Docker Overlay 2 storage driver requires that file system to have been created with type equals 1. This URL. So now I'd like to recreate the root FS with type equals 1. I was thinking of doing that as follows. Boot into a rescue image of some sort. Stump the root FS to a remote location. Recreate the root FS with type equals 1. X restore the root FS from the remote dump. One thing I'm not sure about, though, is whether the X stump output carries anything related to the type setting. That is, would there be any issues doing the X restore onto an XFS file system with a different type setting? Or is there a better approach to solving this specific problem that doesn't involve reinstalling the whole system, repartitioning, etc.? My proposed method seemed to work fine. Here's my procedure. Boot into CentOS 7 x86 underscore 64 live gnome 1804.iso. Dot, open a terminal and sudo s. Dot, scan for LVM volumes. VGS can change into the appropriate volume group. CentOS in my case, V change a CentOS. Scan for the logical volumes in that group. LV scan, create a mount point for the root FS. MCAP MNT root. Mount the logical volume corresponding to the root FS. Mount dev CentOS root MNT root. Dump to remote host. XFM dump J MNT root SSH a cat. Datum root stop dump unmount the root FS. Umount MNT root. Recreate the root FS. MKFS dot XFS F and F type equals one dev CentOS root. Mount the recreated root FS. Mount dev CentOS root MNT root. Restore from remote host. SSH a cat data root stop dump X restore J. MNT root reboot. Everything should be as it was before, except XFS underscore info should now show F type equals one. Note, my XFM dump call resulted in a number of warnings of the form. According to someone who appears to be an XFS developer, Flink. They can be ignored, they are inodes that were previously unlinked, but are still partially there on the snapshot volume, and visible toth by handle interfaces that XFM dump is using to extract all of the nodes in the snapshot. I can confirm this worked for me too. Thank you. I pulled the original UUID using XFS underscore admin u slash dev slash centos slash root after step 5. I then used XFS underscore admin UUID slash dev slash centos slash root after step 10. One additional step I did was after step 11, I set Selenix to permissive set enforce 0 as my first attempt produced Selenix warnings or errors. I don't know if this was necessary but the errors went away. Channel, please consider liking and subscribing.